swing. Alright, jumping into this first game one on Smashville over here. Definitely a good stage for both characters. Opana and now Opana and um Pink Cage definitely have some experience playing against each other at Kingdom, and I believe let's make big moves through some money match. I mean it's definitely been grinding in the lab and securing that first stock with the F Smash and potentially the bag, but I think Cage will immediately clap back for, for a very even and very brutal set. On a laying down the line with the Fireaga. Kind of just bursting his way into Pink Cage's life. This is going to be a very troublesome match, I think, for um, Game Watch. Lupin is definitely just going to plank him and um... Oh, oh, well, looks like he just found the answer. Bacon Spam. Bacon Spam will beat out Sora planking. Which is um, very surprising. With, um, Yoda Cage able to get his um, struggle up airs in here. Lupin is unable to find those dare auto cancel. Just land properly. As a floater, you kind of struggle to land. You're um... You're kind of scuffed in your aerial drift. And a very long air dodge. So he's definitely gonna have to utilize his tools very well if he wants to um, get down against Game and Watch. And Yoda Cage will be taking that second stock with the back air. Kind of going for the scoops, trying to cover all his options with that back air. Trying to catch him approaching with that S match. Match does reach wide, but. Yoda Cage will fall for no tricks right now. Yoda Cage is bouncing back to the stage with that upbeat. He's, he's very good to just get out of disadvantage tool. I, I did not even realize it that much. Back here, able to cancel out that up smash. Undaga will be taking that stock, evening up this game. The Cage. Nice percent lead against Sovana. Will most likely soon be able to catch back up to. Oh. Yep, he's trying to catch all of his air dodges and landings with that up air. Very obnoxious. Maybe just a little too long with the bacon pancake. Trying to read roll in, Opana not rolling in, falling for the trap. Planking with Dundaga. Lizaga, it's up air. That was a very smart way to recover instead of uh, going low this time and just planking. Definitely a mix on Yoda Key. Eventually, ooh! Mixing up his um, timings with um, his side B over here. D escaping that down air. Very smart from Opana. And Yoda Cage is just basically trying to cover his bases with that down air. He's locking off the action of the stage to him. Oh, in Cage. I don't know why I kept saying Yoda Key. Oh, because I saw somebody at, um, I think... That explains... <laughs> now I'm gonna be confusing this. Um, that down there will take in that first game.
Going right back to Smashville. Big Cage will be cooking up some saucy combos. We get quite the lead on Opana. Opana finding his way in with the almost natter, just one complete natter, a singular natter. There we go with the planking, but Big Cage is able to beat out that, um, that side B. Um, pretty detrimental for Opana to recognize that he could do that. I think twice before he does it. Yep, and there we go again. I'm gonna catch him, just trying to go through him and up the... He definitely has to mix that up more. That is more of a thing you can react to. He even watches uh, up the... Very fast. Great data. I believe it's like frame 3, I have no idea. Something like that. Something ridiculous. Uh, being very smart, taking the hit with the pancakes and almost dying from the dash attack will create the eye. He will be living for the moment, but two forward airs will be covering that option, that ledge over here. In cage with a great lead on Obana. One stock up. Obana definitely has to outplay Game and Watch. Or outplay Pink Cage a lot if he wants to get back into this. There we go, he finally found that, but no up smash on them. Still struggling to just really get in against um, this game one. EK is just kind of running all over this man. He's like, you trying to dare auto cancel? Nah, up here. Wanna get up? Bacon pancake dash attack. This is kind of very oppressive now. Oh, and he almost crossed up with that back air too. Opana bursting out of the corner. The dash attack. In case he's not able to get that drag down down smash. That was very scary. Luckily, Nair did trade with up smash right there. I feel like he's been looking for that all game. Or all set, rather. Finally able to get it. And with that dominating three stock lead. Honest playing from behind by a lot. Kind of planking right there, just put him in a very bad situation. Um, good call, just going back to the other stage, setting his um, his ledge invincibility. Kind of very hard to just catch him whiffing right now, and great tech coming out from him. I would have definitely just tried to F smash the ever living hell out of him. But Pink Cage is just super, super oppressive with the game watch over here. Almost fighting that down air on um, Saibi over here. Linking netting him some damage, but not quite that stock just yet. Uh, struggling to land against all these up airs. The oppression, the oppression is so real right now. Attack finally taking that stock. However, Juan is still playing from behind by a large margin. And yep, Pink Cage giving him the sit. Him the seat and sitting him down into losers. Rest up, King. Rest up. Still got a.